guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these three Easter themed cake rolls. Let's get started. I'm going to be using this mold by Patico and I'll put the link down below of where you can buy it. If you don't have the mold, all you need to do is make a flattened ball and then using a ball tool or the back of a paintbrush or something rounded, just push a spiral shape into the mushed ball. I'm using water as mold release and then I'm just going to use yellow polymer clay for the duck. Depending on the hardness of your clay, you can use a paintbrush to texture. This clay was a little bit harder, so I'm just going to use some toothpicks. And what I like to do is kind of go in circles and bring up some crumbles of clay, and then I push the crumbles back into the clay. I don't know why, I just like to do that. <laughs> and it will look like this. Then I'm just going to roll out some white polymer clay for the filling. Usually I use Decoden cream, but since I'm going to bake these, I figured I might as well just make it all in polymer clay. So I'm just going to put that in a spiral shape, and then using a ball tool, I'm going to texture it a little bit. Then for the beak, I'm just going to flatten a little ball and then kind of curl it so it looks like the bill of a baseball cap or a taco. <laughs> Then I'm just going to take a little tiny ball of clay and put it at the base to make the bottom of the bill. And then you have a cute little duck mouth. And I'm just going to put that on the bottom in the middle. Like so. Then I decided that I wanted to add my eyes in clay, so I just added two little black dots and then I went ahead and added two little white specks to give it a little bit more um, dimension. Also, I almost forgot, don't forget to add his little scruff at the top of his head. <laughs> now onto the bunny. I'm just going to do the same thing using pink clay. This pink clay is by Sculpey and it's the softest clay I've ever worked with. So I'm just gonna use a toothbrush because this clay is soft enough to where it allows me to texture it pretty well. For the ears, I'm just going to roll out some logs and flatten them. And then for the inner ear, I'm just gonna use some hot pink clay. Then I'm just going to texture those also with a toothbrush. Then I'm just going to attach the ears on, bending one a little bit. And then again I'm going to add the white clay for the filling. Then for the mouth, I'm just going to take two balls of clay, and again this clay is really soft, and I'm just going to put those together and then pinch one end without dropping it. <laughs> I'm going to pinch one end and make a heart shape and here it kind of looks like a butt, um, but I'm just going to smooth it out so that there's not such a line and attach that on. And then I'm going to attach a nose and this nose is a little bit too big and I'm not extremely happy with it because I think it makes it look kind of like a pig, but oh well. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add eyes and white specks like I did on the ducky. And there's our bunny. Then for the lamb, I'm just going to use some mint colored clay by Fimo. For the ears, again, I'm just going to roll out some logs and flatten them and then attach them to the head. Then I'm going to attach um, his little fluffy head part. So I just mix cement with some white and I'm just gonna use a ball tool to kind of poke at it to make it look like it's fluffy. Like this. And then I'm gonna add the cream. Then for the mouth, I'm going to push together three balls of clay and then attach those to the face. Then I'm just going to use some really thinly rolled out black clay to outline the mouth features. And there's his face. And then I'm just going to add his eyes. And then I baked and glazed just the inner parts. And forgive these for being a bit dirty. But here's the ducky, which I think is really cute. The bunny. And the little lamb, it kind of looks like an alpaca, but I think he's super adorable. Happy Easter. Thank you for watching. Bye.